Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I want to welcome you to a brand new YouTube series. The thing is that for these past few years, I have been modifying my 2012 Jeep Wrangler in a series which has been called Disc Junkie's Jeep. But now I actually have to confirm that this saga is officially over. The hard truth of the matter is that after 280,000 kilometers, my Jeep was just becoming more of a hassle than it was a joy. I mean, the repair bills were piling up. And on top of that, we have the cost for diesel, which was just becoming way too much for me to bear with the current economy. And so I did what any sane person would. I actually took my Jeep into the dealership and I traded it in for a much more financially viable option. And that option is the Dacia Duster. So with that, I actually want to welcome you to a brand new car mod series that I've decided to call Disc Junkies Duster. <laughs> And so for this first episode of the series, I'm not actually going to do any modifications to the car myself, but I thought we would take a bit of a look at the modifications which are actually already on this car. And I also want to tell you a bit about why I decided to go for the duster specifically. But let's just go ahead and turn the camera and take a closer look at this car. So this is a 2021 Dacia Duster. It is the second generation or the Duster 2 here in Europe. And you might not be able to tell, but this car actually has quite a bit of modifications done to it, which is not part of the standard setup. So I thought we would take a closer look, walk around the car and look at exactly what has been done to this. So right at the front here, we have this additionally added bull bar, which is really solid. I really love the look of this. And generally, I've always enjoyed cars which look a bit more rugged, a bit more off-road. And so this was actually quite a pleasant surprise for me. You'll also see that this bull bar actually has an LED light attached to it. This is quite effective. I've never really had an LED light on cars before. The Jeep didn't have LEDs even though it did have extra lights. But yeah, I'm just really happy with this look. It works really well. I also like the little details. You got the little sort of duster uh, laser cutout thing here, which just adds quite a nice touch to the overall design. And then moving over to the side of the car, I can mention that all of these wheel covers or wheel guards, if you want to call it that, that go right here, just this part. This is also not a standard that has actually been added by the previous owner. Checking the doors, which are quite a bit dirty now. This is essentially something which was a brand new car a few weeks ago when I got it. Then it was very clean, very non-dirty. But, you know, seeing as I'm on the countryside, you'll just have to be understanding of the fact that this used to be a white car. Now it's a white car that's got quite a bit of dirt on it. But what I wanted to mention is that these side panels here in black, which also has a bit of dirt on them already, these are actually not a standard. These were also added as a modification. The same thing goes for the side steps, which I also think adds a really cool dimension. Aside from this, we actually have these wind deflectors, if that's the name for them. You can see them right up here on the uh, windows, the side windows. So I'm not really sure what these are called, but these are not a standard. So that's were also added by the previous owner. Right now it has the winter tires on it. So this did come with winter tires. That's obviously not the modification, but just in case you're curious, those are actually not the standard rims. Moving over to the back, I can mention that we have an added little silver lining or this thing here for the trunk that is also not a standard i can't say that you know i was particularly sold by that detail in particular but the overall feel of having all of these little modifications done really do add to the overall appeal of this and the general design it just makes it pop in my opinion it certainly stood out as far as a car auction or car listing did for me because i've been looking at quite a few dusters and this is definitely the one duster i've seen that has the most modifications done to it in regards of duskers being sold today and another thing on the rear of this duster which you might not even pick up on is the fact that it has this rear spoiler to it now all of the dusters have a minor spoiler but this is actually a larger spoiler than the standard you might not be able to pick up on this but if you just google for dutcha duster spoiler you will realize that this is actually not a standard actually does uh, go out quite a bit longer than it would on your standard factory uh, model. 
So, aside from that, just looking at the back, there's not really too much going on. I did add a towing hook, which was something that I ordered when I purchased this. I actually asked them to add that because it is really quite an important detail when you're living on the countryside. And generally, you know, I have like various things which I have to be able to haul around like this. You know, horse transport, not that I transport horses, but if it's an emergency, I really need to be able to move this with my car. So that was actually quite an important feature. Aside from this, we can also mention that it does have these roof bars. I know this isn't like a crazy sort of bizarre cool mod or anything, but they are actually not a standard. So it certainly adds a bit of value to the car as it is uh, being purchased, uh, so to speak. But aside from that, I think that is most of the modifications on the exterior. I can't really think of anything else that I know about, but there quite actually could be some other things which I didn't realize were modifications. So yeah, but aside from this, let's just go ahead and take a brief look at the interior. And I'm actually gonna walk over to the driver's side for this one. Just pop open the doors real quick. So, like I said, I've already been driving this for a few weeks, so it is actually a bit dirty on the floor. But generally, you can just see the rest of the car that this is actually quite a sort of new factory kind of feel. The car is very clean. It's obviously been cleaned by the dealership, but generally it really doesn't have a whole lot of mileage on it. So I'm just going to sit down into the car just real quick to give you something of a feel of what this looks like from the interior. You can see you got the steering wheel, you got this brand new media system, which I think was actually premiering. So I think this is the first car of the Dacia Duster series that actually has this wide big display, which is actually quite intuitive. And I have to say that I haven't really tried this out so much, but I can mention that it does have like the uh, Apple CarPlay and just generally a bunch of functionality. I haven't really started up the car now, I haven't really connected anything, but you know, I just wanted to mention that this is actually quite a good media navigation system. You can plug your phone, you can get like Spotify and all kinds of stuff on the screen. So it is actually quite an impressive setup. It also comes with the rear camera when you're doing the reverse and I don't know, just generally, I just really like the look of this car, absolutely in love with it. I can also mention that it's got the four-wheel drive system, it is a diesel car in case I didn't really clarify that. And I think that I've essentially just generally been really interested in the Dacia Duster because the thing is that for this past year, like all of 2022, I've essentially been driving a Dacia Duster as my daily driver. I have been borrowing my girlfriend's car, which is the 2019 model Duster, and this is quite similar to what this is. I mean, it is essentially the same body, just with some minor modifications to it. So I was really happy driving this. And I also have to say that the Jeep Wrangler is actually literally twice as thirsty as the Duster. So just changing cars, literally meant that I was cutting my fuel expenses or diesel expenses in half. I mean, that is insane. So you can understand how much of an improvement this is. But with that said, I think we can actually close the book on this first episode. I essentially just wanted to tell you about this, show you the car before winter sets in, because I don't know, I've just had a ton of stuff on my mind recently. We've been relocating our office where I work and I just haven't had any kind of time to show you this car, but I really do want to start with this episode and tell you that this is going on. I will be making modifications to it. I'm really, really excited to start working on this. So yeah, that's all for this first episode. Really hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, hope to see you all next time.